Hello. Um, today's workshop is on how to navigate a virtual hiring event. Um, the vendor that we're using for this event is Premier Virtual. Um, you can create your profile at premiervirtual.com, um, I'm assuming. If you click on this link right here, it'll take you directly to where you need to go to register. But we're getting ready to walk through um, and show you exactly what you're going to need to do to register if you have not done so already. Um, this is our event coming up Wednesday the 24th, um, but if there's a different event, um, their, their landing page will look a little different here. So you're going to click on register. Then it's going to ask you your email address. You're going to put that in and hit next. And you're going to put in your first name, last name, a telephone number, make up a password and confirm the password. But before it will let you hit create, um, we're gonna need to upload your resume. Uh, take note here that it's only for PDFs only. So if it's in a doc um, document, you're gonna have to convert that to PDF. I guess that's just to make sure that it will come up on anyone's computer. Um, it will not let you create an account if you don't upload your resume. Um, it will just say no resume provided and just sit there. So you do have to upload a resume. Once you do that, um, it's going to ask you, are you registered with SC Works? We're going to hit yes or no. Um, your zip code and then this job fair in particular is open to the public and honoring veterans. Um, if you are active duty, reserve guard, retired veteran spouse or family member, or NA, you'll put that right there. This is what it will look like once you've registered and entered into the site. So this is what the job seeker will see. Um, this event portion will change. Um, this is just the event that's coming up. Um, but if this, you know, workshop is for another event, yours may be here. But when you log in for that particular event, it will have a landing page for that event here. Um, it also gives you back the time um, and your events. So if you look to the side, you can update your picture. Um, question frequently asked questions and training will be there. There's a lot of information in that. You can view the resume and see how it uploaded. Um, or if you're not sure which one you posted or um, you can click that. Edit your profile. And then if this doesn't come up for some reason or it may be another event, um, you can always hit my events and obviously you have a logout button there. Um, job seekers enter in the event. Um, this will be broken up by sectors. Um, so once you get into it, it may have, you know, um, hospitality, uh, retail, manufacturing, um, finance, um, whatever category is going to have whatever is going to be represented at that job fair here so you just literally enter whichever sector you want to go to first um once you enter that <clears throat> you will see the logos of the companies that's in that sector so for example if you picked retail you would um on the previous page if retail was one of the sectors you'll click retail here and then you would go here, and then it would have Old Navy, JCPenney, um, TJ Maxx, um, any anything that's there um, in the retail sector. So, like I said, let's go back here. You can pick any one that you want to go to first, and then next you'll see the different companies that's represented in that field. Then you would click on whichever one you want it to view to move on to the next. Um, this is an example of an employer booth. Um, when you get into, once you clicked into that second one, that retail store is our example. Um, this is what it's gonna primarily look like. If you can see here at the bottom, you see this chat now. Click here if you wanna chat. We can, I'm gonna show you what that looks like in a second. If you need to go back to the lobby, you'll click this button here. And we're gonna go to the next page and see what it looks like further in. Once you click in there, let's go back one. You'll see uh, reorganization um, bio or 
job vacancies. So if you click here, you can click on organizational bio and it gives you just some basic information that the company has put there that they want you to know about their company. Um, I'm not sure if, um, yeah, if you go back and click job vacancies. This is what it's going to look like on this next page. So job details, um, you have another, um, this is where you get to the employer. Right, so if you're in person, you'll be able to say, hey, you know, my name's Susie, here's my resume, I'm interested in your company, please tell me more. But in a virtual setting, um, this button here is important because this is where you submit your resume. That's how they know who you are, what you've done, what you're looking for. Um, so you'll see um, under job vacancies, it'll say job details, job title, any of the information that the company put there will be here. Once you submit that resume, it goes directly to the employer, just like it would be you handing it off to them in person. So this is an important button. Um, if you see something you like here, submit your resume. There's not a, a max count on how many you could submit. Um, you know, you just make the determination if you feel like this is going to be a good fit for you. Chat box. Uh, we saw that on this screen here at the bottom towards the right. When you start chatting with an employer, you can speak to the multiple ones at the same time. As you can see, you're talking to Premier Virtual as an example right now and say hello. Um, if you wanted to go back and click on the Marriott, you just click on the Marriott and it will highlight blue and then you can, you can talk to them. So we'll keep it separate for you. Um, this is just like having a conversation um, with an employer like you would do in person. Um, feel free to, you know, just reach out to all of the, you know, employers that you feel interested in, especially if you see a specific job that you like. You've already submitted your resume. You can easily come here and say, hi, Premier Virtual. My name is Susie. I submitted my resume. I would love to chat more about this job opportunity. So whatever you like to do there, um, but it will keep up with you know, keep track on who you are chatting to. It's a cool feature to use. So that's pretty much it on how to get in there. Once you get in there, you know, you can always go back to lobby to, to hit things fresh if you get too deep into an employer. I don't see how, you know, you would get lost in it. Um, you know, once you get to the job vacancies, the only other thing you could do is chat them. Um, some may have a video chat option. I'm not sure if that's going to be made available, but chatting is just keep in mind is just like speaking to them. So you want to be in constant contact to anyone that you've come across that you're interested in at the fair. Uh, a couple of best practices before the job fair. Um, register for the event ahead of time. Research participating organizations. Prepare your resume. Practice your elevator spit. Spit pitch um normally you know do you know obviously you're typing this so you know keep it not too lengthy um but something that it'll get a get across to them um who you are in those 30 seconds that it takes for them to read it make sure your technology is set up and ready to go so you don't want to have any wi-fi issues just in case you get deep in conversation with an employer you don't want to have any you know, technology issues, um, try to use a computer, a quiet space, um, things like that, just to keep in mind. Best practices during the job fair. Uh, wear professional attire, even though it's a virtual event. Um, that just stems from, you don't know if it's gonna be able to be in a Skype or a Zoom, maybe offline, maybe chatting on uh, during the actual fair. So you just wanna be um, presentable if in fact that were to happen. Um, attend event in a distraction free environment. Be sure to put yourself out there and give the best first impression possible. Um, use clear professional business communication. Demonstrate strong body language while in video chats. Ask for the next steps and contact information from the employers that you are interested in. Um, that's definitely key. Um, and it may seem easier to do it since you're typing versus speaking, you know, so I would just recommend um, and encourage you to just put yourself out there to put your best foot forward, even in a setting like this, especially in a setting like this. Best practice after the job there. 
reach out to the employers you spoke with and send them a thank you note or email in this case. Um, I'm sure at some point if you're chatting with an employer, you hopefully would have gotten their name. Um, you would have asked follow up, you know, questions, you know, when can I hear from you? What's the best contact method? Things like that. Um, <clears throat> When you get that information, just make sure you use it and reach back out to them. Let them know, hey, I'm so interested. Thank you for speaking with me. And then hopefully the employers do the same with you. Good luck at the job fair. Here are a couple links that you can go through um, on YouTube. Premier Virtual has put up a couple videos that will help you to use their platform. So the first one is training videos for customers on how to use the platform and then learning how to navigate the booths. So you can, you know, copy this and go on YouTube and get more practice if needed. If not, that's all I have. You should be getting a copy of this PowerPoint via email on, on, with the email address you've registered to. If not, reach out to your local SC Works office and we can try to get that to you. Thanks, um, good luck at the job fair um, and stay safe. Thank you.